Another thing is, too, is this province to province and all that. They're all fighting for funding in that, eh? And the federal government's not really doing much. And um, it's just like we should all be working together. Just like Aboriginals should be working together, eh? Like we should all be working as one people, not, you know, now they got the gangs, you know, like the Red Alert and the lawyers and the posse. And they're all fighting amongst each other, killing each other, you know, and saying, well, why are we doing that? We should be fighting with, with each other for the same cause. You know, and it's all over drugs. Drugs and drugs over drugs. But, uh, yeah, but the change is like, I, when I first went for, uh, you know, supporting that in, in Vancouver, the support was there. But then all of a sudden, um, right in Vancouver, like, there was overfunding, eh? Like, and so everybody's fighting for the funding, and then everybody forgets about what the real cause is for. You know, the real cause is for for us uh, PHAs, eh? And uh, there's always just bickering so much, et cetera. And which I think you could stop. Yes, uh, more um, more people not be too sh so scared to be to admit that they're to be positive. I think if more people are more open about it, people will they, they have, there's a lot of people out there that won't admit that they have it, right? And, and we all know that. And it's all the stigma be behind it. Well, you know, like when you think about it, you know, like drug use, you know. And, Seems like a sin these days, you know. Um, so there's a big stigma behind it. And so, as, so as uh, an APHA, we need to continue the work that we're doing in sharing our stories and getting that message still out there. Yeah, get, get all the stories out there. And don't be shy to admit that you're uh, a two I tell, like I Like I said, I tell everybody. You know, I meet people. And I tell us, no, oh, I'm HB positive. I remember one time, I met this one girl in Vancouver, and I, I was just, I was getting lost there, and then I told her the truth, and she says, yeah, I'm positive. And then uh, she says, oh, really? She says, I like a guy that's positive. It's got a really positive attitude. <laughs> <laughs> I said, no, 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 no. I, I mean, I'm positive. And she said, oh. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you should have said, uh, yeah, it's a, one of the situations that you have to be at that was really funny, eh? and the boy says, oh, I like when a guy is so positive, he talks about being positive, you know. And, no, 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 the other positive. <laughs> Do you have a certain timeline when you tell people positive? Do you tell them different ways to different people? What, if you, you mentioned that when you tell people, like, come and mention your Is the message the same across the board, say you told a family member, or you just go to somebody else? How, I just say the same thing. I always just say I make sure you're positive. And, and, uh, and, uh, and trying to look at your reaction. I, the ones I hate say, so, oh, you poor guy. I, I, that's the ones I hate because, uh, oh, there's going to be a cure. <laughs> you know, like, you know I, you know, those are the ones I hate. Eh? But the ones I like are, oh, you know, you'll live long, you know. That's what I always get. My nephews, you know, they say, oh, don't worry about it, you're going to live long. And it's just true. Like, I hear I'm made, I made 50 years old. I was 35 when I got it, you know? So, like, I probably could have had a nice job by now, but, you know, like, I, I kept thinking that because I'm, uh, I'm uh, HB positive, I only have, like, maybe a couple more months left to live. And uh, I'm still thinking, am I, am I still going to make it to the Olympics? Depends on which region you're in, I think, I believe, right? Because if, 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 if I was in Vancouver, I'd get lots of needs there. Like, you got Dr. Peter Center, you got the Vancouver Native Health Center, you got Friends for Life, 
You got so many things in Vancouver. You go to Edmonton, there's nothing. You're all an organization, eh? and that's it. And they don't really do much there. Yeah. Like World Aids Day, I I didn't celebrate World Aids Day. Like, what am I celebrating? You know, like, <laughs> you know, like um, um, I think it's because I mean, Alberta is a redneck country. <laughs> And BC is more liberal, and like, uh, and there's more. I don't know. That's a good question. There's more. There's way more funding in Vancouver. I'd love to go back to Vancouver and live there eh? because I had free housing. I had I had free housing for the rest of my life. I gave it all up to come back to. Uh, I mean, uh, like my I had bus passes there for you know. For fifty dollars for the whole year, I got a bus pass, and um, uh, the services there in Vancouver were so great. But I can't quite dwell on that now because if I move back, I'll be shot by my brother and nephews. <laughs> they, they won't. They won't allow me to go back to uh, BC. So <laughs> yeah, it'd be bad for the Olympics, but. Um, Yeah, like I said, like don't let things bother you. Yeah, I don't like things bother me. I know that things are gonna come, but like I said, I probably won't die from the disease. I probably might die from old age. That'd be kind of cool. <laughs> That'd be kind of cool. <laughs>